Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Legit, and welcome back to this channel. Two audacious teenagers who tried to steal a judge's £15,000 high-performance motorbike from the grounds of Snaresbrook Crown Court have been sentenced. Shay Hollis, who was 18, of Harrow Drive, Enfield, and DeAndre Rogers Barrett, 19, of Ashdown Road, Enfield, appeared at Woodgreen Crown Court on Friday the 2nd of December. Rogers Barrett was sentenced to 21 months imprisonment, suspended for 18 months. He was ordered to complete a 25 days rehabilitation activity and was given a three-month curfew monitored by electronic tag. He was also ordered to pay £500 compensation to the victim. He had previously pled guilty to robbery and not guilty to a fray. Hollis was sentenced to 18 months supervision order. He was ordered to carry out 12 hours of unpaid work and to pay £500 compensation to the victim. He had previously pled guilty to robbery, criminal damage, threatening a person in a public place with an offensive weapon and a fray. The audacious incident unfolded at 1410 hours on the 16th of April 2020 when Hollis and Rogers Barrett, accompanied by a third unidentified suspect, rode into the grounds of Snaresbrook Ground Court on two mopeds. They came across the motorcycle, a BMW R1250 GS Adventure TE Rally worth around £15,000, and began quickly trying to steal it. They were challenged by a member of security, at which point Hollis produced a machete and threatened it. Fearing he'd be seriously injured, the guard fled inside the building and the pair began pushing the motorcycle away from the courthouse. However, they found that they were trapped inside the grounds after security staff shut down the gates. They then dumped the motorcycle causing several thousand pounds worth of damage and discarded their own mopeds, helmets and angle grinder and the machete before climbing over the fence and fleeing on foot. Police were called and responded immediately. An area search was conducted but the suspects could not be found. The discarded items were seized, forensically examined and investigations were quickly started by officers from the Met's Operation Venice. One of the discarded mopeds was found to be registered and insured to Rogers Barrett whilst other items were forensically linked to it and Hollis following a specialist analysis. Both were arrested on May the 27th, 2021. Rogers Barrett had called police 90 minutes after the robbery to force report that he was robbed at knife point of his own moped and mobile phone before the robbery at Snaresbrook Crown Court. Investigators proved this didn't happen by reviewing CCTV from the falsely reported robbery re robbery location and recovering the same phone he had reported stolen from his home address upon his arrest. Oh my god. He denied knowing Hollis at all during the interview but officers were able to retrieve images of Hollis from his mobile phone. Distinctive clothing worn by Hollis during the offences were found following a search of his home address. Both were charged and remanded in custody. The third suspect has not been identified. PC Alan Croxford from the Mets Operation Venice team said, This is a fine example of good police work from our team, using skills and resources from across the MPS to bring down two offenders. They were intent on stealing a valuable motorcycle in an attempt that can only be described as brazen and audacious to ride into the grounds of, of a Crown Court and try this shows fragrant disregard for the law. The brave security staff who challenged them were threatened with a machete. This goes to show they were not afraid to use violence to get what they wanted. This should serve as a warning to anyone concerned in serious criminality that we will investigate and use every tool at our disposal to bring you to justice. As always, I'd love to know your thoughts on this. For me personally, this is ridiculous. How can someone that's stolen a motorcycle, threatened someone with a machete, been in possession of a machete, and then in interview completely lied about knowing someone, being involved, created a, a false account that they were robbed and it was their motorcycle that was used in this robbery, it wasn't them. How can they get a suspended sentence? I do not understand it. The criminal justice system in this country is severely broken. When criminals can do this much damage to someone's property, to their mental health, and literally not even get a tap on the wrist, they get told if you commit another crime, you'll be you'll be jailed. You're off this time, you're on a tag, boo-hoo, carry on with your life. This isn't gonna stop crime. This isn't gonna stop moped theft from occurring. There's no severe punishment with this stuff. It's severely disappointing to see the results for this one. I'm sure you guys probably feel the same too. Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. You've been awesome. I've been legit. I'll see you in the next one.